Hello everyone, it's Benjamin Wara and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering a Unity topic called Serialized Fields. Now the thing that you need to know about Serialized Fields is that they allow private variables to show and be edited in the inspector. So that's the basic function. Later in the video, we're going to be establishing why do you need these and why are they useful. Now I'm going to use this scene as an example. In this scene, we have a platform with just a sprite renderer. We also have a player with just a box collider. And we also have an enemy with a box collider and a rigid body set to dynamic. Now, if we hit play, we can see that the box that we set as the enemy is going to touch one time the player. And if we go into the player script, we can see what it does. Anyways, a quick rundown of what is in the player script is a private variable called health with 100f as its value and also an on collision enter 2d function. So every time the player collides with the enemy, health is gonna go down by one value. Now we're gonna be using the serialized field so that we can access this private health variable in the inspector. Now to do this, we only have to type serialized field on top of the variable that we actually want to apply this to. So in this, in our case, is the health value. So we want to put in brackets serialized field. Now when we go back to the inspector, you can see that the health value is now showing up. So now when we hit play, you can actually see that when the box collides, our health goes down by one, so it goes to 99. So anyways, now it's time for a theoretical part of why would you use a serialized field. In Unity, we use the serialized field to block access from other scripts to get that variable because it is in private and we want to be able to see it at the same time. So that is the main goal of it. So you can say that we use the serialized fields to avoid other scripts from accessing a variable that we want visible in the inspector. And that's basically it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and comment down below what would you like to do next. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we are going to be uploading a lot of content related to Unity programming. So, anyways guys, goodbye.